Clear my mind, close my eyes, where am I? Bumpy right, looking out across the sky As the wind blows in my face There is water, water everywhere How did I get here? Who is that man over there? My mind is blinded It's all just a dream Sails and rudder on the ship Rum and bear, I'll take a drink And tomorrow I will remember a thing Sail some rudder on the ship Rum and bear, I'll take a drink And tomorrow I will be hungover done can someone remind me cause to me this soul is just a blur the last thing that i remember is a part of part of the nothing else uh -huh. how did i get here who is that man over there will i ever find out it's all just a dream tell me Tell myself it's not worth it Tell myself no, but who cares Cause tonight I will party Sail some rudder on the ship Rum and bear, I'll take a drink And tomorrow I will remember a thing Sail some rudder on the ship Rum and bear, I'll take a drink And tomorrow Guys, welcome to the live stream. It's time to golf. It's Saturday. Grab your putter, grab your clubs. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, guys, to the stream. Good to have you on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. We're stuck inside, so let's get to uh, golfing. Uh, hmm. Uh, right now we're playing on pro settings. Uh, just trying to get the feel. It's just accuracy to the degrees is the only thing that I'm struggling with. Uh, no reason for me to go up to mass. No reason not to go up to masters. But uh, just uh, you know, I just want to keep working on the accuracy. I'll play around. If anybody wants to play around with me, you know, feel free to uh, step up and say, "Yo, we need to play 18. Let's go." Uh, but we're here. We're going to start off with a, you know, a little Q school. We'll start a PGA new career. 
2K Sports and the Corn And uh, once again, at it. This year's Q School final. Delighted to have you with us as we begin our coverage of this tournament. There. Start off smacking Bridgestone Driver. You know exactly how challenging these Q Schools are. Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing. And we smash the tour cards. Just a little right. accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50. All right, so the we're in the heavy rough. Get their card. Can't wait to get Say 15%. We'll go. Today. Need a little 15 percenter. Into 88 yards. So we're saying, I would say you need another 13 yards according to the math. So. What was it, 88, 13 yards, uh, 101? And then we want to account for our gap wedge, so I'd say down to 2 yards. Nothing really there. So 99 should be the right number. But uh, I don't know, while playing this game, it just feels, the rough feels so much heavier than they're uh, telling you. But let's see what this does. All right. Hit it a little fast, so it's going to hang out to the left, but the numbers look generally pretty delicious right there. Mm. And now for birdie. So, I'm going to say, you know, just the hair outside the right edge of the cup should drop. Uh, Alright, par. He's currently tied for ninth. We have a par five on this one. Jeez, why am I slow? I the slow is unforgivable in this game. Alright, we're ready. <laughs> that was pummeled. Absolutely right. pummeled! Let's go. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Okay, right, so flat lie. Go with two twenty. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yep. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Would be nice to make this putt. This is for Regal. Ouch, that hurts. All right, got it there for Bird. And a that's a Bird. And that putt will drop. Well done. Currently one under for the round. Teeing off here at the third hole. Push the, here. All right, we're okay there. Looks like it's going left. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Five right. feet coming up. Five to the feet cup. for par. That's par. Well hold. Currently one under for the tournament. Let's see what happens here on the four. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? This one's first cut and not too deep into that first cut either. This might not be all that bad. Going with the six iron here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. This part for top spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it.
Boy, that took off. Big putt for par coming up. That's my And down it goes. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Needs this one to kick right. Nah, too fast. Well played. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Turn. <sighs> Makes no sense. And that should secure the par. Well done. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Here we are at the sixth hole. Seems like they've got an abundance of swing thoughts going on there. Perhaps paralysis by analysis. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Opting for the three wood. It's oh, it was a little untidy, wasn't it? Straight into the water. And here we are with their four. Just a stroke behind the leader. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Nice shot. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Uh, it's a bogey, but not a bad part. Our current leader is uh, a one-shot lead. You've arrived at a par five. Looking to bounce back after that bogey at the last. That was a pretty. Hopefully, this one is better. Second shot here on the seventh. They got after that one right up near the surface. Good play. And here we are with the third shot. Only a few shots off the pace. Oh. Absolutely flushed. But what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. To the top five he goes. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. The only slices I like, Rich. Slices of it's pie. like amazing. I hit perfect on the giant range and then I'm slicing it off the court. It's well, just on the ground, no John McCarthy would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. Watch this goes incredibly short. I'll be pissed. This one's going right at the back right, here. Good. Just three feet to the cup. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. That's perfect. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Slicing. All right. Slow. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. A bit short with that effort. Just missed the hole. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Looking better. This one's for bogey. And we'll hold. Let's move on. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now, you should be <laughs> the fuck out! Well, You're bullshit. Position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card, but let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. Looks 
to have chosen the seven iron. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Makes it's no not sense. easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. Oh, the ball doesn't even turn. It's good. just un fucking real. The game's just getting a little out of shape by the looks of it. Two so bogeys much. in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. No, that's too fast. Slow. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. No, really. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. a high caliber shot trying to get to one under here with this putt this is a good chance and with that that's their fourth birdie and that will take him to two under now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway second shot here on the 12th for the six iron. That's a good looking shot there. A fair bit on the line here. A spot the top five. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. I like it. Two in a row. Just one off the lead after that hole. Getting closer to that top spot on the leaderboard. This is getting interesting. shot here on their 13th hole. Going with the 9-iron, I think. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Well, they wanted to hit the fade, and unfortunately, they didn't. Not bad. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. And down she goes. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. That was a gallant attempt. We'll take a tap in any day for par. Currently has a share of second place. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. 
Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Sitting at two under, tied for second place. for the five iron. It's just like it's so unforgiving. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Just don't get how everything's fucking slow. one to make it's for par it's up it could be in it was on a good line one under with a handful to go and they're gonna have to really focus in here to try and chase down that leader here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four that looked like a big hook to me yeah, that's in the water like you get punished that's pretty loose yep, that's a water it's ball. fucking crazy getting ready to play their third only two shots off the pace. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. This putt is about eight feet. Looking good. And this one is for bogey. Those are the kind of parts the best in the world make with monotonous regularity. Cool. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. We have a par three on this one. Go with three wood here. This makes no sense. Going right. This would be a great up and down. Let's see if you can make this. Get the par on the card. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Now four back after that hole. Teeing off here at the lucky last. The 18. No, that's fast. Like, well, Rich, come on. In the this is fucking here, absolutely the be. worst system I've ever seen. That's fast, but that's perfect. Okay. That's the right option. Put it back in play. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. But that's... Oh my god. You get you like... Come on with this temple bullshit. Playing their fourth shot. Four shots behind our leader. We'll shoot 73 here if you can hold this. Nice stroke. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour.
Honestly, I'm fucking practicing every fucking swing now. Like, it's good. I had Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Hello everyone, Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their very first Corn Ferry Tour event. What are they up against? What can they expect for the season ahead? Luke, it's all been fun and games up until now. Now, this is where reality hits you. Three wins, battle through promotion, straight onto the PGA Tour. In all reality, finish in the top 25 and get your PGA Tour card for next season. There's a lot at stake, though, isn't there, Rich? Because everyone's gunning for the same prize. There is a little benefit, though. The top 75 at the end of the regular season, at least they get themselves to that Corn Ferry Tour playoffs, which is huge. Yes, but you can't think that way. You have to think top 25 or nothing else. That's the way that you get from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour. You don't have to think about the qualifying process. You're in, done, thank you. All right, the bar's been set. Shoot for the top. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Well, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Looks good off the blade. Oh. They've made it, off to a great start today. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Here we have a par five. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. This looks to be heading for the cut start. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. Just get close. Or this one's for birdie. And that's birdie. Goes. So that's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Going with the five iron here. How the fuck does that go that short? Onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Remember, putting's a finesse game. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. I like the look of this. Good par. And in it goes for the par. At minus two, going along nicely today. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. From about 130 yards here. For the nine iron. Give me a this fucking. Needs to find a patch of gravity in a hurry. I don't know. There's something wrong with their numbers, man. This makes no fucking sense. Quality shot that one. Seven feet to the cup. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. We have a par four on this one.
Oh, that is a thing of beauty. A couple under at this stage in a share of second spot. Opting for the four iron here. That's got to be perfect. Like, what, if the numbers are right, that's got to be perfect. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, we'll take it. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Ooh, right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. Now, good nice to make a mid-range par putt. And that finds him in a share of second. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Sitting at two under par. Currently tied for second. And choosing the eight iron here. There. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Let's go. And that will drop in for birdie. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Opting for the three wood. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, looking like 22 feet to the hole from here, guys. Ooh. Oh, is an inch out. Chance here, this one's for par. That starts off on a good, good line. Part. Good putt, that. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. <laughs> Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eight. <sighs> That's stressful. Where will this one end up? Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. That got caught up in a few of the branches. Sitting at minus three, currently in the lead. Going with the seven. Really? That, that's not. Time now for the fourth shot. Can't be right. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Just eyeballing yeah. that one, trying to make it. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. That's heading into the rough, I think. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. to move into a share of first. It's got a chance. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that. <sighs> this is an exciting position, isn't it, Rich? Time for the lead as we enter the back nine. Yeah, I like it. Sneaky good. There's no doubt about it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum up on the final nine. 
the fuck? I mean, my tempo doesn't change. Like, I'm gonna fucking... I'm sorry I'm getting pissed. It's just my tempo doesn't change. I have the most consistent thumb in the fucking world, and this is ridiculous. Currently tied for first place. Going with a three wood here. Bounce. That one's headed right and staying right. Jesus. And here we are with their four. Damn, why am I getting so pissed off? I'm getting pissed off because the numbers are bullshit. At least for my game. Well, like, okay. That doesn't move. Twenty-two feet to go here. Just It's just about three feet away. Let's go ahead. Hold. Let's move on to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the eleventh hole. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Two strokes off the lead. I'll be perplexed if this doesn't get close. Game with the 9 iron, I think. Flushed it. Hasta la bye bye. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. <laughs> Went in the hole. If he makes this, he'll save his par. That's far. The short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the twelfth hole. Opting for the three wood. Just go in. Ooh. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Was going in. Okay, so that finishes that hole. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard, we've arrived at a par four hole. What a gargantuan tee shot! And taking aim from around 100 yards here, just a couple back from our leader. Going with the eight iron here. Well, that'll work. Up on the dance. What the fuck is wrong? Is it my control? Maybe it's my controller, man. This is, the numbers just don't make sense. Maybe it's because I'm using a 360 controller. Could that be? Get in. There you go. That'll help your scorecard. Well, hold. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. This one might roll into the rough. Second shot here on the 14. Oh, almost went in. Make this putt. He'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. Yes, and with just four holes to go, this could be an interesting finish. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That's not the one he wanted. Time for the second shot at the fifth. Yo, what's up, Will? I think that they're, they're uh, maybe because I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, is it coming out hotter than it's supposed to be? 
Alright, I'm gonna use a cow gun. Fuck this. I, I, I wanna see if I'm great. Alright, so, um, what? 25%. Date iron, heavy rough, 25% of 155. Is that that's like thirty eight yards? So it's like one ninety, let's say. And then we have no, no. It's not bad. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Yeah, I just, it, I thought it was an Xbox One, and, I, and it, it's a 360 controller, so I'm a little pissed about that. Could that be the problem? Like, it just feels weird. Like, my putts are off by an inch, you know, just, I don't know, it just feel, it doesn't feel right. Like, watch, this is going to be an inch off, as usual. Looking great now. Just it's possible. Uh, maybe it uses it to 360. Fuck it. I'll, I'll just see if I can go and go get an Xbox One. Fuck, this is, this is really pissing me off. Well, what do you think? Do you think it's possible? Just something feels weird. Like, it's great that I can't go off track on the swing, but, like, the numbers just don't make sense to me. So, all right, let's say, like, another three yards for the uh, eight iron carry. I mean, maybe four yards. Like, if I hit it at 146, this should get pretty close. That's what I think. To have opted for the eight iron. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Well, that's certainly that's like what we're looking for. A shot like that. Yeah, so for an inch the off, then we need to the put it there. One of the good guys out there. But it's off an inch, left and right. It's crazy. Well, I don't mind this part, huh? hmm. Job done. That's, that's what I'm saying. I, there's no way, like, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm straight as fuck. We have a power five here. Time to take advantage. Which is cool because then I can just walk and do whatever. It's just tempo is a bitch with this. Okay, like it's random. Like I'm, tempo. my thumb's not doing anything Ooh, better, and I'm pretty yeah, consistent when it comes to no, that. This is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. And then let me. All right, so okay, I'm gonna now switch to the PS4 controller. PS4 controller. Like, I'm purple X. I wonder if it'll. Yeah. All right. It's working, but it's not on me. Uh, hold up. Well, it works, but it's not lightning. But oh, let's just I'm back out of this real quick. Okay. Uh, so same tournament. Uh, now this is the PS4 controller. Hello and welcome back to our coverage of this Corn Ferry Tour event, already in progress. Let's pick up the action at the 17th. Yeah, I have to restart the game. All right. I don't know. It's driving me insane because, like, I, I just don't understand. It's either the rough calculations are off in this game and because they don't make sense according to the numbers. 
Alright, so this is the PS4 controller. Hello and welcome yeah, yeah, to right. coverage of this Corn Ferry Tour event already in progress. So, Time now to resume play. Let's head out to the 17th hole. It doesn't matter what I do, I'm just, just showing it for purpose. So this is my swing with the PS4 controller. Go what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that goes Stay right. in the air. Playing their fourth shot. Cool. Just a stroke behind the leader. <laughs> I don't know, I just... I don't know. If, I just don't understand, like, why I'm inconsistent. I don't know, that... Okay, now the controller's working. Weird. I get upset because, like, I feel like I'm a player that should be just birdie, 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 like, not every hole, but, like, what are these bogeys and why are they happening? This. It's probably just experience in the game, because but the numbers just don't feel right to me. Well, I need a calculator to do the percentages. That's the problem. I feel bad doing that. Sorry, I know this is annoying, but like it, it bothers me. I mean, I'm just really, maybe I'm overthinking, and I just enjoy the game. We're just gonna move on. If we bogey, you know, we're not gonna get too fickled with it. Let's just calm down. Stop being a little prick about everything. Play with the PS4. Maybe just turn, like we done before, turn off that. Let's try it out. You know, also, these are newer controllers, so I gotta give it time, too. But I feel like I should be up there with all these top players, and it's just like bogey here, bogey there, something fucking weird happens. Well, that would look good. It's just the tempo. No, we're gonna. I get. You know, at this point, we know we're pretty, pretty accurate with that. So let's just take that bullshit uh, off. This been so long. We do want to. I think that was. It. That should be okay. Now oh, we turn the meter off, but. Maybe we should just go up to Master and start practicing with the T TCP and get, you know, fuck, fuck this. Like, we're just, we're good. We need to trust that we're good. So, I think it's 194 we're looking for. Okay, uh, I'll go, we'll go back. Uh, 
Chat, feedback of shut set up on. We got one there, but it should be. It's 194 on list that you did. UI? Let me go to the website. Flag. All right, let's just go. To, I'm gonna go to TGC. TG. Was it TGC? All right, I got it. All right, let's see. Timing on, distance control meter off, off, puffer zero, uh, course yardage open. Leave it on. When provision. With off, 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 provision, all off, uh, scout camera UI on, uh, provision trajectory off, with on, on, pin press buttons, that's fine, marker, open. Well, we can have it on, technically. Um, meter only, that's fine, and carry. Alright, that's, that's the right settings.
wallet. Let's just do a round with that, the setting. We'll do a fun round. Uh, I do want to change one thing. Oh, I do want to put the rumble on so we get used to it. Now that should be controls. That's what that is. Should be. All right, let's just do. All right, what's the next week's event? Uh, I forget the name. Evangeline? Yeah, Evangeline. We'll try Evangeline. There we go. Give me a shot. Alright, so we'll try this out. I mean, Hello there, my name take is our time. Stop getting pissed day. off. Something to do as we kick things off. I can't even tell it all. All right, so first hole. Let's nestle this first drive up there. In the this drive is tough. I mean, we can carry, but we then put this fairway bunker into play. I think three wood here might be a better option. And setting up here in a definitely not. Bunker. Didn't want that. Um, safe play, just four hybrid. Oops, that's that's no good. Okay. Shouldn't be too awkward out of here just in the first cut. So three yards up. So I'm saying sixty sixty and then we have the wind in our face, so like fifty eight maybe should be good here. But we're in the rough, don't forget, too. So, maybe 62 should be, no, 65 should be okay. Nice. Wouldn't that be nice to save par on this course? Is probably brutal. I wouldn't doubt it. Short. Boom. And starting the yeah, this course is hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. Probably, Lots more probably too difficult for me. Today, so don't worry about that just yet. And this is right on the border. I'm not sure if it's gonna be rough. I'm gonna get away with that one. And setting up about 105 yards to the pin. What the fuck was that? Take you a little wet after that shot. That hurts. And this one's your fourth. Why don't I get feedback? All right, shoot. Yeah, I turned it off. That's why. Probably. Mm. Heading in the right direction. Everything's super fucking annoying about this uh, these settings. Lining up for a nine foot pot here. Ah, oh, just right by Like, the what the fuck is that? All right, let's get back on and chuck this ball. I don't know how people are playing so far. I just I, I don't I don't understand it. I kind of need the feedback since the.
I don't understand why this is the comp settings, why they think this is real golf. This is not real golf. And let me tell you first, I've got good feels about today. I think uh, I think we might have some good things happen on the course. Let's get after it. This one looks like it'll play. play uh, it's, and then I watch the streamers, and it's like they're playing like hard right drop. There's like, no, like, let me just yank it out right and then fade it completely. Just doesn't. It's not right. Doesn't make sense to me. Safe approach. Nice. And here's what you're dealing with for a birdie. I don't even feel the rumble on this. Oh, it's so big. Oh, it could be. Oh, Good putt. And you've got this left for par on this one. I mean, it's not real golf. Good stroke. Like, I would rather just... I, I think it would be fine to have the control meter. Uh, I don't see a reason not to have the control... the uh, distance meter. You know. Uh, doesn't make sense. Oh, man. Heading to the bunker. Okay, let's get out of this bunker. And then these courses they have are, like, the fakest courses I've ever seen in my life. Like, none of these play realistically. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet. Got a lot of work to do with the putter here. All right, staring down a birdie putt here. Ooh, easy, Tiger. All right, that's uh, just setback. You're just, just like setback. guessing putts. This is your bogey putt. Looking really good. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't mind taking the pot previews off. What else could we take off here? We don't need the assist. We don't need the true vision. No, we don't. Do we want the true vision? No, I feel like we do. We don't want the assist. We'll keep the distance control on. Uh, well, wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, we have too many people playing, and that doesn't sound like a problem. I just don't understand why people want to compete. It's just not real golf. I would bet real golf is take, doing the math. And then, you know, I mean, but you need, like, half shot. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Should we just create a, try to design the, the tiger course instead? Oh, fuck. Like, I'm just unhappy with, like, the controller. It just feels weird. But that's perfect.
uh, let's take the rumble off. It's not bothering me. Yeah, I just, you know. So they need to hire people or start paying people. Pretty simple. But they're not making money off it, I'm assuming, so that's why. I mean, I almost feel like it should be... I mean, I don't know. I just... Truthfully, like, I feel like the pro settings are a little bit ridiculous. I mean... The pro should be the master, the master should be the legendary, and the legendary should just not be there. I don't know. I think all tournaments should be played on pro. You have the ability to see the distance, because you can kind of visualize that in real life, so I don't understand why you would take that off. Like, taking the wind trajectory makes sense, taking out the, you know, pup previews obviously would be makes sense. Um, I mean, you should, I mean, you should know, like, rough percentages, so that makes sense. Listen, if they pay me, I'm willing to, I would do the work. I mean, it's just like, the problem with these, like, you know, kids is, like, they don't know how to properly run a business. I mean, truthfully, you know, I, I should run my own tour <laughs> and create a website now. Uh, like, just think of a different golf thing. And it's just, it makes more sense. Like, I, I, I don't know. I would like to see, like, the tournament be a pro setting, no pop for video. Pretty much the beer league in a way, but like meter on, meter's fine. I don't see no reason. There's no, it's a video game. Like, we don't have the feel like we do with an actual golf club. So, I, I don't, I mean, you know, especially with putts too, I mean. I mean, I'm frustrated with the game because the rough doesn't make sense. The putting turns don't make sense either. I don't know. It's a game, though. And it's the first year, so you can't really complain too much. Am I making sense? Well, or am I just being a salty little salt, salt, salterson? Salty salterson. You know, another thing I'm pissed off is because I created a league, and I can't, you can't, like, delete if you accidentally put the wrong dates in your society, you're fucked. Now I'm fucked because I accidentally put the wrong courses in till like, the 29th, and then I could probably, I just want to end the season. Can I end it yet? You know, and then I could create, I'll create a, events here, you know. I just don't like the, the TGC. I don't, I just don't agree with the TGC courses that they pick. The, the greens are so ridiculous. Like, and then, like, I would, you know, let's do a design. Like, I, you know, let's base it off the new Tiger Woods place. Like, it's a rustic, I think rustic's probably the best looking for that. But the thing is, like, there's, like, limited controls. Right? It just, like, take everything off. Take the layout off. 
take everything out of the game. And then we would have to edit, sculpt, flatten. We'll use a big square. And then just make it mass size, I guess. Will that do it? Oh, we did it. Look at us. Just flatten the entire course. Then, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work. And I don't know numbers very well. Oh, we did it perfectly. That's good. I guess the first thing we would do is like plant the green on one. What is blind? I don't even know. Yeah, I think I agree. I think there should be a putting path. What? What's a spline? I don't even. Know. What does spline do for us? Yeah, it's just, it's hard because, like, it's cookie cutter shapes. If it, you can't, like, do exactly perfect stuff. You kind of, like, oh, yeah, this is good enough. Then. Like, what if I just, all right, so to raise it, I would then have to do this. Like, you, you have to have, like, all right, that's under, like, what if we want, like, three feet up? And then we just do that. And then that fucks with the BSC. You can't. Uh, I kind of. Yeah, it was just like taking more time. That's three feet up. What is like one foot up? I mean, that's cool. It's a nice looking green. Yeah, you would have to like 
literally it would be like no life in this. Especially if you want to like create the Tiger Woods one. I mean, you're better off just randomly generating one and fixing it up, probably. No, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, this, this, that's not going to change because I created it, but we could change the text. See, and then the other thing is the mo pattern, you can't change the. Like, you can change the intensity of how the lines look, like, I mean, but you can't, like, if I wanted the lines to go the other way, no, you only can go one direction, which is kind of stupid. Because I would want them to, because the Tiger Woods course, they go from right to left, not up and down. So this, so I guess you just take them off. Um, I mean, you would have to probably take it like more like line by line, it looks like. So like, we would want it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot easier to see. So we could actually do some cool, like, you know, that would look good. But then we would need to raise the green. It's just hard to see, like, there. But now we've created, like, this little, like, fucking hole. All right, I'm done. Yeah, it's just not accurate at all. I think I'm just annoyed because of, you know, there's just some things that need to be fixed. Love my outfit though. Looks, I look pretty sick and gray. It's just like, I don't understand. You know, my swings can be pretty deadly, but then I get those once in a while bullshits. Do I just like do the swing calibration as hard as I can with the controller and have it calibrate that way? I'm just curious to see what it does. What do you do? Yeah, please. Let's let's do that. What do you do? Like right now, I'm just swinging as hard as I can. Well, you're my caddy, man. I'll do whatever you. You're my swing coach, my caddy. You're my every. You're like my Tiger Wood daddy. From seven to one and hit faster. Seven o'clock. Seven to one. Like that? I wish I had my clubs. I would just go, you know, I would do an IRL stream at the range and show you my swing. I don't, you know, I want to be big like Huddy so that like people are like, oh, can you help me with my swing and like send me pictures of their swing? I would love it. Okay, you want swing feedback? Okay. All right, so let's, I'm doing whatever you say. So you want to see swing feedback. Well, 
Where are we? I'm lost. Hold on. They're both on. No? Alright, so there's the swing. Anyway, we have the swing feedback, right? We're good. Okay. You're saying seven to what? That's pretty seven to one to me. I'm trying to go. That's as fast as I can go. The swing meter doesn't go any faster on this controller. It's so fickle. I'm going fast. It's probably loosening up this joystick a little bit. Alright, but like, when I get the irons, it's like a different swing, but no, it's not. And it's just perfect. I'm fine with that swing. And then the pots get me pissed off. Like, alright, so... I mean, this is gonna be about, like, right here. I mean, this is a lag putt, so I'm never expecting to drop this. But, like, you know, I'm, it's just crazy. But like, my swing goes slow and then my putter like line moves so fast. And then we have to like hold that and it just feels awkward. Pretty good putt. I mean, that's a great live putt. It's just like when I play the courses, like I'm watching people on Twitch, and it looks like they're 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 getting like such easier like lies, and my lies are like orange, yellow. You know, I'm looking for the right spots to hit it on the green, but I'm always getting like fast windy winders, and you know, then you get the whiny, fast windy. Oh, there you go. There you go. Maybe we just need to enjoy, it. just shut the fuck up and enjoy the game, right, guys? I don't think I'll be competing. So, I mean, let's do some, you know, let's look for a society. Let's see, 2K21. All right, we have an event. Uh, what settings is it? I just want to know what settings it's on. I'm not playing in that. Uh, bar options. Can you see what settings? Settings, settings, settings. They're probably pro. All right, just try it around. Okay. All right. Hello there. This is John. I'm very glad to have you here with me. And let me tell you how happy I am to be with you here today. We are at Emerald Lake Golf Club. Cork that first drive into the fairway, and uh, we'll take it from there. OK, 
Punish. Let go. Keep our composure. We are about 140 yards out. Like I'm always getting these fucking reds. There. And then we're hitting into there. It's a hundred percent. Then we're up four yards. No wind is down three, so like 140 seems like the number, and uh, just put it out to the right a little bit. That's pretty damn fucking good. Oh, what could have been? That was nice. Lining up an eight foot putt. That's nice birdie. job. That's for birdie. Okay, one under par on your round. Okay, short par four. Nice. Looking fine from T here. Very nice. Here's our second shot on hole number two. All right, so. I want to hit about 117, which seems pretty right to me. Go on 160, maybe. No, I don't like 160. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking 118. Was it pitching? I think we go 118. Very light. I don't know what you mean. Exactly, like what you mean, like private. It doesn't matter, my streams are usually private because I don't get any viewers anyway, enough viewers, anyways. Nothing wrong with that, safely on the green. Okay, 18 feet to the cup. One's on a good line. Boom, you nice putt. That one and that's back to back birdies. And after that hole, we'll I think it's more of like I just need to like stop worrying and make it like slower, pl play slower. That was pretty, pretty epic. Sweet. Okay, this one's 20 feet. Yeah. Setting up for the par pot here. This part. And nice pot. Let's move on. I mean, you're better off, yeah, streaming off of Discord then. There's not really an option to do that, I don't believe. But probably better off if you wanted to do that, do it on Discord. Uh, that would be the better option. You can set, you can just invite them to your your channel or your server, it's not gonna be good. and then they can just watch. Time to get on out of this dirty old bunker. You gotta be fucking kidding me! No fucking way that happens. Okay, third shot. Good job. Get out of that bunker. Played it. See, back in the fairway. it's always that that okay, fucking up absolutely fucks me seven. over. But the swing feels a lot better That's actually. I think I loosened up the controller. Okay, here's your fifth shot. It's just these shots that get you know. Like, you know, they want you to do an 8-iron splash, so it's going to be well short. So then you got to go back to normal. Oh, 
All right, let's sink this, grab the bogey, and move on. Okay, let's check the old scorecard. And your score is gonna go up to even par after that one. Par four for this one. Yeah, that's the problem with me. Oh, it's just one hole that throws me off. Silky swing. And what are you thinking? What are you thinking out of this fairway bunker? Let's see what you got. Like this. Nice shot. This one's for birdie. Standings, and you're at even par currently. And now we're looking down the fairway of a short par five. Wicked slice on that one. This is out of the second cut here. That shot got a little bushy well not the best result there that was some gnarly stuff you had like i've never seen a course like this in my life and wouldn't expect anybody to play it well okay we're on the green all right good luck here you've got 22 feet to go whoa ball whoa this one's for par. Okay, well putt. Now let's move on. Okay, even par at the moment. And teeing up now on the seventh. Like 70 fucking foot drops? All right, well, what was it? There it is. So, uh, three times 10. All right, so I need 20 with 60. Twenty-two, twenty-three, and like three yards for the seven iron. Oh, and that approach was a bit wayward. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Hit it from the cart path. See if I care. Yikes. That works. <laughs> okay, eight feet. Boom. There's your par. Okay, that'll keep you at even par. Looks like a par four for this one. I guess I'm like more into the realism of this. I wish it was like more of like TBC type courses instead of these like. Yo, let's okay, go okay, over so the we'll river and through the woods till we fuck ourselves. We go. Getting a nice view from this elevated position. Oh, you didn't hit this one, but that's okay. And hoping for an up and down here to get out of this one with the par. All right, bit of work left to do here, but we're out of the sand. Okay, moving on. I'm actually feeling better. I think I'm just angry right now. I'm hungry. Angry. Like, there's no course in its right mind that would put a tree blocking a fucking hole. Maybe guard, you know, to the right to, like, avoid, but you would never have a tree like that. Have a 
good second shot here on the ninth. All right, this is for the bird. Todd appears to be online. And give this one a tap, and we will mosey on our way. And after that one, you'll stay. Sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry I'm in a bad mood today. Teeing up now on the 10th hole. And the tee shot looks like it'll be safe. Well, I think we ended up in the rough. Setting up here from the deep stuff. Heading for the rough. And this is our third shot. A little wayward on that approach. Yeah, this one's your fourth I'm just shot. taking my anger out on this game. I'm not really trying. Here's an eight footer for us. Ooh, great. Okay, moving on to the next. And just one stroke. Maybe I should just take the day off the and uh, regroup. Okay, the lengthy par four. Okay, second shot on the 11th. Approach kind of missed the mark a little bit. Setting up here now for our third shot. Great chip shot there, pure. That's pure. Good job. That's dropping on in for par. <laughs> okay, one over on the round currently. And hopefully you can stick this right. one close. So, down three yards. I'm going to say down four yards for the hybrid. Nothing for the win, just five mils right to left. This should be right. And I'm going to put spin on it. Oh, effortlessly done. Nice swing. Nice approach. Let's see how I mean, you know, we're judging it right. Long putt ahead of us. Ooh, good attempt. That's annoying. <laughs> That'll do. All right, one over for the round. All right, let's have a nice tee shot and land it nicely in that fairway. Swing didn't feel right. Okay, we are in the deep stuff currently. Where's this one going? This is what our third shot's looking like. job on that approach it's like sometimes like i'm brutally on and sometimes it maybe it's game error I don't know. Over par currently. all right put this one out in the fairway this tee shot could maybe roll into that rough and maybe it's in the deep no, stuff. maybe we change clubs uh, clubber two extra on this shot I 
How does that go short when I club up twice? Setting up for our third shot. Okay, we can save par here with this putt. Looking good. Nice putt. That's in there for par. One over for the round. And team this one up on the 15th hole. Well, it's too bad. Okay, you're in the rough. With Maybe the, line. the bridge sounds just good. way too much club, for, way too much for me. He's like, like I hit further. Okay, and I lost it. And this is your third shot. high on that approach nicely judged and here's a 13 footer oh, he's going right by the hole yeah. and this is your look at par well that holds behind us let's move on yeah no yeah absolutely over at the moment okay i have a good tee shot here now i think i'm getting pissed off at the imperfections of the game to be honest I think it'll land in the fairway. Could could head into the rough though. Yeah, it just feels like if you hit oh, it right, out of every time I hit it, it's just in the sand. That's just stupid. Wait from here, and then I need. All right, so we need like another twenty percent. So another like thirty-three, I would think, would be fine. Thirty-two from here. I didn't look. Looks like you may be well, yeah, I was short anyway. I mean, I don't. Right. That doesn't make sense to me. Shot. Heading for the green. Well, I can't get it right all the time. Yeah. Oh, lucky. All right, this one's about nine. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Like, why does that break so much? But other times it won't break at all. Okay, let's uh, see what we can do on the next hole. Like, that's what I'm frustrated about. Like it's hole just like 17, ready to go. some of the holes are just uh, make no sense. All right, looking good. So then, um, then I don't know how. I don't understand percentages. <laughs> I'm just not. This would okay. You down to two over. Maybe I just grab a calculator and play with the calculator until because I I just can't do that math in my head. I need Will to do it for me. Ah, uh, right by. Let's see how the numbers add up. Let's see what happens here on the 18th. I mean, I'm swinging the same oh, way every time. <laughs> Why is that slow? And from the fairway sand. Doesn't matter, I can't. Get out of there. This one's your third. Yeah, well, that's true. And then if Here's your fourth shot. I think I'm just hungry and maybe I should take a break, breathe, and then we'll come back and play this later. And wouldn't it be nice to save par here? What's well, heading towards the hole? Like, well, how does that not drop? All right, let's finish up here. We'll go our separate ways. Okay, and the bogey putt drops, and that will do it for your round. Okay. Right. Maybe I'm going to go get launch. Take a breather. Hello there. My name is John. Welcome to the game. Fuck this game. Everything is uh, going well with you. This is your first round, and... Uh, 
that. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back in like an hour. And then I'm going to try to change my mood. And just we'll just play regular PGA Tour and then just work on the game. I think that's the smart play. What do you think? Are you available this afternoon? What's your schedule like? Well, well, I'm going to be back in like a half hour. We're going to take a break. So you have work in like three hours. All right. Well, I'll catch you tomorrow then. Uh, I'm going to take a break. All right. Well, I'm. That's fine. I, you know, you got your real life stuff. You're the only one that comes into my stream. I don't know. This is. I, I gotta change my attitude because like people come in and then I'm pissed off and I lose out on viewership. What's up, Ariel? Bam! I'm in a bad mood today, Ariel. We're we're having a pretty uh, salty day right now. I mean, if we look at the two controllers, like I can hit it perfectly on the Xbox controller, the 360. And if we can get the tempo down, then we can do some dirty, dirty things. Yeah, this is my ad. I have a bad ad. I don't know what happened to me. I think age and depression. Like, I can be such a good streamer. I just, I can't control my attitude sometimes when, like, I know I'm better than 90, like, a lot of the, the players that play these games. But I can't play on the settings that they play on. And I just get frustrated. I think it's more uh, frustration that with the math in my head because I know percentages don't make sense to me. And it's not that I'm stupid. It's just I can't calculate percentage. I have to memorize. Like for in poker, I memorize every percentage. Of it. I mean, I have real reactions, but. I'm just more angry because, like, like I know where to put the ball, and it just seems like, like when I try to do it in the game, it just. Uh. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I think I hate. I think that's a problem that I have in life. That, you know, I, I'll just hang on, like being pissed off, and then I'll just play really fast, just be like, I want to be done with this. Oh, I don't have any, I mean, I have a weird, Ariel, I have a realistically weird situation where uh, I, I was, you know, I'm not where I want to live because of choices my parent had made after my mom died. So right now I'm actually stuck in New York 
and I'm nowhere near any of my friends. And I don't even, I'm in an area that really, um, it depresses the shit out of me because it's so, so bad here. And I'm the old, like not the, and this is not a racist thing, but like being the only white person in your neighborhood can never be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just, you know, life has not been fair to me. And when my mom died, it just got worse. And, uh, we, you know, we deal with it. But I think, you know, if you met me like 10 years ago, you'd have been like, wow, this, this kid's great. And now it's like, this kid's so fucking broke. But um, I think I'm just hangry right now. No, it's not fun. You're absolutely right. It's like you you feel like you're never going to get out of the hole. Yeah, but I do do the best I can. And the best I can is just sitting in a house like a hermit right now, which is even rougher on all of us right now. It's not just me, and I don't believe it's just me. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I love golf. Like, I really understand the game. I know all the USGA rules. Um, but to see some of these kids, like, oh, I'm playing on Master Difficulty and I can get this platinum shit. And I'm like, y you have no golf thought. Like, where you're placing the ball is, is terrible. But they're always in the right position, it seems like. No, it isn't just me. And I agree with that. I, mean, I don't believe it's just me. But when you're not living in an area you want to be, you know, it gets worse. So how about, you know, I should just take a lunch break, get the hangry out of me, um, and just play, play the tour. You know, I'm going to have, we'll have you guys, you know, I'll come back in a half hour. If you guys can come back, that'd be awesome. Play the tour. Just practice the shots, and if they're not a good shot, and I seem pissed, I have to put the controller down and walk away, and then we'll go from there. Or just start using the practice shot and until I calm down. Alright, so I'm going to take like a half hour. I'll, I'm going to turn off the stream. I'll be right back. And if you get, you know, I know, you know, if Will can come back, that'd be great. If you have work, though, have a great day at work. Ariel, good to see you again. Thank you for guys for the support. I'm going to be back in like a half. All right, guys, see you in a bit.